सर गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग सर प्लीज टेक अवर सीट थैंक यू सर आर यू कंफर्टेबल यस सर ओके शुड वी स्टार्ट यस सर इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ टू द बोर्ड मेंबर्स सर आई बिलोंग टू जहानाबाद डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन बिहार आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय क्लास 10th फ्रॉम जमशेदपुर इटसेल्फ फ्रॉम बाईडी गर्ल्स हाई स्कूल Uh, after that, I completed my class 12 from Saint Xavier's College, Rachi, where I got uh, rank 4 in Jharkhand State. After that, sir, I completed my graduation in Computer Technology uh, from Nagpur University, uh, from PICT College. Uh, there, sir, I got uh, two times gold medal, sir. Thank you. And, Thank you. sir, in 67 BPSC, I got selected as Labor Enforcement Officer. Mm -hmm. And again, I am appearing for the interview, sir. You are already selected. So, what is your job profile? Have you joined? No, no sir. Joining has not come yet. Oh, yet. Right. Yes, so, what would be your job profile? What kind of job you are going to perform there? Uh, sir, it uh, mostly uh, uh, it deals with the labor side. Mm. For example, we are uh, we have to make ensure that all the welfare rights of the laborers are getting ensured. They are getting timely wages, and if uh, or any welfare schemes are there for labor, mm -hmm. they should get that. And also, sir, uh, we should also ensure that the health. of the labor that uh, any situation environment in which laborers are working that should be uh, well sir so we have to make ensure sir and uh, all schemes related to labor that should be enforced in that company who is a labor what is the definition of a labor so labor is a uh, person who uh, works in a company under an employer mm -hmm. and so we generally differentiate labor with the uh, income mm -hmm. for example if the salary of the labor is below 18000 as per the new uh, labor uh, codes mm -hmm. then it is term he is termed as labor mm -hmm. and if the salary is above 18000 then he is termed as supervisor sir mm -hmm. so the his main job is to work mm -hmm. to construct to uh, develop something then he is called as a labor sir so from your perspective uh, what do you understand by this word labor from your perspective i'm not uh, asking you from uh, the bookish uh, definition uh, what should be a labor sir as per my understanding a labor is the basic building uh, block of anything for example if a building has to be constructed without labor the word labor means the person who will start what, the work that is what who is a labor so he is a person yeah. who is responsible for the initial beginning of the work mm -hmm. for the end of the work for the beginning of the work mm -hmm. for the whole thing Be without him nothing can be completed sir so if that is the case then any any person supposing an officer yes sir who initiates a, a work and completes it on his own yes sir is he a labor Uh, sir, he is uh, labor in some other sense, but uh, uh, as I said, sir, uh, as labor we uh, we say some person as a labor when his socio-economic condition is mm. not as compared with the other person. Mm. For example, if uh, an officer is working in office, he is labor because he is working and he is working for the public welfare. But he is not he is not called as a labor because his socio economic conditions are well. Mm. His uh, reputation is well. Let me put it uh, this way: supposing uh, an officer who is earning let's say fifty thousand of rupees, as you said, he is obviously not a labor. Yes, sir. Now, if his salary goes down, he performs the same kind of task, and his salary goes down, say, to the level of rupees five thousand. That means now he is a labor uh, because socio economic condition is very bad. Uh, sir, again, uh, if um, if you allow, so I can. Uh, mm, that is what I, I want can to think. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, I think labor is a person who, who which is who is involved in many uh, criteria. For first is social economic conditions. Second is environment he is working. Third is what work he is performing, and many more criteria, sir. But sir, uh, sorry, I am not able to. Uh, Uh, recall now if uh, officer salary will uh, reduce mm -hmm. then uh, what should be the what should be he called i'm so sorry sir no problem uh, in our constitution uh, where do you find this particular word labor uh, sir article 23 uh, uh, there is lit, uh, written forced labor Uh, there should be no forced labor. There should be no beggar. So, in uh, fundamental rights, Article Twenty Three, as I am able to recall, sir. Any other articles? Uh, Anywhere in our uh, DPSP? 
Uh, sorry, sir, I'm not able to recall exactly in DPSP, mm -hmm. sir. You are a student of public administration. Yes, sir. Uh, if I say that you are uh, motivated or encouraged to join civil services for money, money is a motivating factor for you. Am I wrong? Uh, yes, sir. In this case, uh, my purpose was uh, different uh, because sir, when I completed my graduation uh, from computer engineering, sir, I got the package which was good and which was charming as well. But sir, I left that and I decided to pursue my career as a public servant, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that case, if my motto would be money, in that case, because my all family members suggested me not to uh, leave, leave that job mm -hmm. because it will give you a good life, good reputation and good amount of money. Mm -hmm. But sir, my motto was to deal with the public, to, um, to uh, make with, uh, to, to talk with them, to um, able to resolve the issues if they have any and to work towards the public welfare welfare. Okay. As a government is already working in this direction, so sir, I thought, I will able to just uh, help my contribution uh, in this direction in a well. Okay. Why way. Jyoti, uh, the present uh, generation of India is so shy, why this feels so, so much of a tinge of shame in saying that yes, I want money and that's why I'm here. Money does not necessarily mean black money, money means your salary. Why Indians, uh, so when a present generation of India, uh, your, particularly your generation is uh, so shy? Why? What is the, what is the reason? Uh, so the reason could be uh, many. Uh, first, as I am able to recall, so when initially we used to say money, mm -hmm. it uh, first thing which comes in our mind is black money because mm -hmm. salary, when we uh, listen to the word salary, mm -hmm. then it is okay. Then we are uh, talking about the salary which we get mm -hmm. after working one month. Mm -hmm. But the money, the term money is little bit harsh, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, uh, sir, in my generation, um, we cannot say that everybody is towards the public welfare job because people are nowadays very focused towards the high living standard job. They no, want the point is that your idea of uh, public welfare and professionalism, where yes. you uh, take money for your uh, performance. Yes, sir. Cannot, can these uh, two uh, not coexist? These two can coexist, no? Your public welfare idea and your professional uh, need. Uh, yes, these sir. These two can coexist. Uh, yes, sir. So it why you said that I don't, uh, I'm not here for money? Uh, sir, uh, my, when I heard money, the first thing which came in my mind is was like uh, package of 50 lakh, 50 lakh, 20 lakh packages which we get in engineering uh, colleges. My mind is uh, conditioned by the society. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, I can uh, say a uh, little bit. Mm -hmm. But sir, uh, similarly, uh, money, the word money is a little bit uh, negative in my mind. Tell me, uh, uh, what did uh, Hasberg say about salary. Did he put it in under uh, the hygiene factor or put it under the motivational factor? Sir, it, uh, he put it uh, under the motivating factor. For example, uh, as I am able to record the two factors, satisfiers and dissatisfiers. So what he said that if you will give a, a good salary and uh, uh, the person which he deserve a good amount of salary, and then he would not be dissatisfied if he is getting, getting good salary. But if, if suppose a person is working in a company and he is about he should be get 30,000 rupees and he is getting 10,000 rupees only, then he should be, he will not, he will not be satisfied. And if they, uh, we will give him a good, uh, a good salary, then he would be satisfied. So it is a uh, difference between satisfiers and dissatisfiers, sir. So you said that uh, Hasberg put it under motivating factors list. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. And uh, according to you, it should come under the hygiene factor or what? Motivating factor. Uh, sir, um, are you with Hasberg or you are against Hasberg? Uh, no, sir. I am with Hasberg because uh, um, I am. It does motivate. 
I'm really confused now because I'm uh, not able to recall properly, sir. But I, when I uh, read that, I read that in a job context and job content in a way. So job context is that uh, good environment, good salary, like that, sir. Okay, tell me if you ask Maslow, Abraham Maslow, to put a salary in a particular hierarchy, where will he put it? Out of the five stages that he talked about. Where is he going to put the salary? So physiological needs we can put because without salary he can't get, he can't buy clothes, he can't eat foods. Mm -hmm. So he should um, put in that way. Mm -hmm. Just a basic salary, sir. Not right? the uh, social need. So it is also social need, but a basic Not minimum. security need. Yes, so they can, he can put, mm -hmm. but uh, just a basic requirement of money is to just buy first uh, roti kapla and makan which we say. Mm -hmm. So if he will not be getting a good salary, very minimum amount of salary, then he won't be able to supposing, eat. Supposing you have, uh, you know, uh, got promoted to the level of secretary. Yes, sir. You know, and you are being paid the salary. You have been, you have been given, uh, uh, you know, uh, powers and authorities, whatever you call all kinds of things have been given to you, except the salary. Salary has been reduced to the level of a PM. Is it going to hurt your ego? You are going to get the salary, as much uh, salary as a PM gets. I am talking about from Maslow's perspective. Is it going to hurt your esteem or ego, or you will be okay with it? All powers and authorities are given. Uh, so somewhere it can uh, uh, hurt my mentality in the sense that uh, hurt your ego or not? Uh, sir, uh, ego uh, word I'm not. Uh, I I will say I'm not agree with the word ego. But uh, if after working one month he is getting everything, power, gadi, uh, bangla, he is getting everything. Mm -hmm. But the basic needs which he is able, which he should get, uh, with which he will uh, take or uh, fulfill all the responsibilities of his family. And if at the end of the month, after working one month, he would not be able to fulfill all those things, then he would be dissatisfied so rather than uh, hurting his ego. I think he would be mentally disturbed. He would be disturbed emotionally. Okay. Will he, join, will he continue his uh, job or is he going to resign? Are you going to continue with that uh, job or are you are going to resign? So what happens? Uh, so sir, in that case, if in, uh, in that situation, if uh, there is no one in my family who will earn and who is able to take care of my children and my family, and uh, with that amount of uh, salary of a pin, if my family is not able to fulfill all the responsibility, in that case, sir, uh, I will try to, uh, if uh, the um, job allows me, I will try to take extra classes from the tuitions, but I will not uh, left my job because when I joined that, my motto was also, salary is a basic requirement, but my motto was public welfare, which I am doing right now also. But the job, if doesn't allow anything, like after going home, I can't do anything, I, I, I can't do any work, then in that case, just to maintain my family as well, because I am also a responsible um, female of my family, and as there is no one in my family who is working, then in that case, sir, I, harshly I will have to design the job, sir. Okay. So first of all, tell me, as a student of public administration, what is public in administration? So public means people and welfare means to look after. I am asking what is public in public administration? Sir, so it's people, janta, which we call. Okay. And why not government? So uh, government is also consist of people, so it is wholesome, sir. Holistic, uh, holistic, it's a wholesome uh, word, sir. In the development of Bihar, yes, sir. NGO and self-help groups are playing very important role. Uh, NGO and self-help group are the part of public administration or the part of private administration. What is your take? Uh, sir, uh, uh, when we talk about the uh, stakeholders of administration, so sir, there is a one government administration, then there is a uh, people who are just a private and they are private companies and they are different groups 
they are civil societies and NGOs. So they are some different groups which we co which we uh, coordinate with the government to fulfill any agenda or to fulfill any initiative. So so we uh, I'm I'm not able to exactly sir uh, merge it with the public or private administration. Because they are the separate groups who uh, work in their own way. With Sometimes, and uh, you also working with the help of the government. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I'm asking. Uh, so, see, uh, some NGOs are also supported by the government, uh, but sir, uh, right now I'm not able to recall the example. That's why I'm not able. I'm not sure, sir. Okay, there is a quotation. Uh, good governance and democracy are contradictory. Sometimes. What is your take as a student of public administration? Uh, sorry sir, I am not able to uh, re properly recall the correct answer sir. Okay. Uh, my next question is that, what are the outcomes of third Minimum Group Conference? Third Minimum Group Conference. Are you aware about it? Yes, I am able to recall the first two and the year of third as well. Uh, but the outcome, sir, if you, uh, if sir allows so, I can, uh, sir, I can uh, try, sir. Right, try. Sir, uh, according to me, it uh, was about, sir, uh, new public administration and, uh, sir, um, liberal role of government for example ki merging uh, merging the role of government to the private administration to achieve a public uh, ppp mode working in a ppp mode to better uh, in, uh, use the government resources in efficient there way is any issue regarding the homeland security sorry sir i am not able to recall it okay how will you use your knowledge of computer and technology for the better administration uh, sir, uh, first of all, the uh, department in which I will be posted, I will make sure that uh, my colleagues are able to uh, use the computer properly. Because if any government schemes comes into uh, uh, operation, then we have to implement it properly. For the welfare of people. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, I will uh, make sure that... Uh, in various sectors of the government, how will you use your knowledge and experience of computer? in various sectors of the government for the betterment of the people of Bihar. Uh, sir, uh, uh, with the help of example, I would I want to explain this answer, sir. For example, if uh, there is uh, uh, schemes like Kaushal Vikas Yojana came into operation which we have to implement in Bihar in my uh, district or in my uh, block places where I am posted, so, sir, first of all, I will uh, use my computer data to make a proper uh, table of all the um, people who are unemployed or who are employed, but they need skill in my uh, areas. So, I make a proper um, um, and, um, Microsoft Excel Word. And, uh, I am in asking especially in the respect of service delivery to the people. Uh, How will you use your knowledge and experience? Fast service delivery could be ensured with the help of the uh, digital um, uh, digital usage. For example, if uh, uh, documents has to be prepared and uh, to provide to the students, for example, this caste certificate and uh, 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 income certificate. So, with the help of the computer, I can uh, easily make people aware that you can fill online the form and uh, in, you can easily download rather than going to government office and use your uh, Time. Okay, thanks. Please, sir. Jyoti, considering your background, tell us, why should we select you? Uh, sir, uh, I'm a person with uh, discipline, uh, perseverance, hard work, and most importantly, I'm a uh, compassionate woman, sir. Uh, so, uh, in nowadays, we are seeing that uh, uh, administration is there and it is working very properly. Uh, but sir, some, in some areas, uh, government is still need to be more people friendly, sir. Sir, uh, 
when i see my as um, myself as a person i can see myself as a person who is more compassionate to understand the people's grievances and uh, sir i also uh, assure that uh, as an administration as a good administrator i would make sure that the people's grievances are read you uh, are resolved on the spot and uh, if uh, some grievances are not able to resolve at that time i would make sure that Uh, within a few days or few hours with the help of my seniors or with the help of the respective department i will able to resolve the issue sir so that's why i think uh, i need to be a uh, that's why i think sir and what been the role of your two major subjects the b computers and public administration in your endeavor so firstly if i will talk about computer Uh, so, uh, i can make sure that the all the uh, uh, government schemes are implemented online and uh, people should not get uh, uh, people should not get delayed in uh, getting their services for example if uh, uh, currently every uh, schemes every uh, things are getting online so i it's my responsibility uh, to make awareness to the people uh, because, uh, being a uh, software engineer as well to make people understand that uh, the computer makes it think easy rather than making it difficult for example initially uh, people has to go to uh, used to go to government office and they used to make a queue of 1 to 2 hours just to make a certificate or to uh, get the things done for example registration also if we talk about registration uh, so gst registration anything now it is so everything is online so uh, i will make sure that and with the help of my team as well i will make sure that there there should be one session in a month if uh, government allows me so so that i can make people uh, understand how computer works and so uh, in uh, bihar government there uh, we have provided many uh, service kendra pragya kendra we call it and through that many people are also working in this okay. direction okay. sir and what will be the role of public administration Uh, so when we uh, when i studied public administration so one word uh, um, uh, inspired me very much that was good governance uh, so in that uh, we use minimum government and maximum governance we provide governance mean to welfare to the people so in that case i will use my What knowledge what does this term mean minimum government maximum governance means minimum utilization of government resources and giving more welfare to the people of the society how is it possible without utilizing the government resources or country's resources we are going to provide maximum benefit to the public is it possible practically uh, uh, sir we will uh, use less government resources rather than no government resources for example uh, roads which is constructed by the government and uh, if uh, in a uh, currently this uh, which we are witnessing in patna there are many traffic that, jams then in that case the private sector will have to come into play in countries uh, with the magnitude of india and everything will become more and more expensive because they will provide better service uh, and in uh, in your opinion uh, now the uh, interference of private sector in service delivery will increase and the role of government will decrease so this cannot be the essence of this line again think and tell me what the, this line stand for minimum government maximum governance it is not uh, directly linked to resources actually yes, which you are talking about sorry sir i will go and read about that what should be the necessary qualities of a good administrator a uh, sir a good administrator should be impartial uh, he should be a uh, discipline uh, because without being disciplined he can't ensure justice to anyone in the society uh, thirdly sir he should be impartial and uh, he should be compassionate sir he should be have uh, the patience to listen to people's problem and if he is very uh, very uh, 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 means what we say that he is very rude and if he is very short tempered then people will not be able to tell him the grievances 
then ra rather than solving the issues the issues will escalate uh, so uh, so according to me so these should be the qualities what is difference between a painting and a mural Uh, sorry, sir. I'm not able to recall it now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Jyoti, you have got your interview on 12th Jan. Yes, sir. Right. So you are already selected to BPSC, and uh, of course you are a good candidate, no doubt about that. But certain areas where uh, we can work on and we can improve, right? See, I don't know who told you. uh and uh, how did you come to know about eye contact okay. eye contact you see when i am asking you a question supposing yes your primary focus should be towards me yes because if you keep your eyes you know here and there when i am interested in knowing your answer because this is my question i am interested in your answer so in the process of uh, you know to please the other board members will be losing my trust because in communication it is vital that the person who is waiting to listen to your words you should not ignore that person okay sir so what should be your um, uh, uh, mode of uh, communication here that first you should be primarily focusing on your eyes should be towards that person and occasionally here and there when you complete your sentence just give a glance to other members okay, in any case the other members are not interested in your answer they are thinking about their own questions and all so they are not interested yes. so if sir asks you a question to you address him the entire answer should be addressed to him yes, and occasionally you can look here and there right this is one yes. and i think the tempo of your interview was very fast very very fast our tempo you can reduce a bit the tempo right and because of when your tempo goes you know it it becomes very fast your thinking becomes slow these two cannot you know go side by side if you speak in a very faster uh, mode thinking will be slower so give uh, your thinking more time you should speak slow so now you take some time and then you start your answer right and your answer should be concise precise to the point right and uh, it's all right uh, husband uh, put this salary in the hygiene factors sorry sir i was uh, not in motivating factors thank right? it was a wrong uh, answer uh, when this question was asked that why should we you be selected you tell told us very many things compassion this and that see these are all values these values are should be there with uh, anybody whether you are a civil servant not in a job or without job these are the values your compassion should be there right honesty should be there it's not something which a civil servant or uh, an administrator have everybody should have these qualities but i am interested in selecting you because of your skill so if you can say that yes i I've, i've got certain skills which will be of uh, tremendous use in job yes, and sir. that's why i should be selected something compassion uh, honesty these are this should be there it's not something that it is your exclusive uh, you know quality every human being should have but skill may or may not have is it it yes sir. an engineer may not be uh, as good uh, as a doctor when it comes to uh, medical practice yes sir skill is something which you may or may not have but engineer doctor civil servant everybody should be compassionate you know honest this and that so i should i am not going to select you because of compassion honesty this and that everybody has got that yes sir isn't it yes i have got i think you have got the point minimum government uh, maximum governance i think you missed out when you say minimum uh, government you actually are talking about uh, decentralization you are not trying to hold the power to your hand you are decentralizing it giving it devolve dev devolution of power decentralization of power and power is coming or it is coming to the people grassroots level say for example gram sabha i know when you devolve the power authority so people become more uh, you know less government more governance you just supervise them from the top but give the power to the bottom 
if you centralize them to more government less governance okay sir. right this is the idea and quality of a good administrator see this question if it is asked to anybody and whatever you say that is all right but since you are a student of public administration administration has got a specific meaning administrator means there has to be a common goal which will be followed by a co uh, cooperative uh, no a group of people there should be a concerted effort by a group of people to achieve that common goal now if you want to be a good administrator you need to identify what is your common goal of the organization a goal which is shared by everybody not for you only yeah. and then the people who are working with you you should guide them towards that particular goal achieving that particular goal if you have got this quality of organizing the people motivating them coordinating coordinating them and everything for achieving that common goal only then you are a good administrator and you said so many things yeah. which are not for an administrator okay yes. you are a good student but i think uh, if you work on these lines you'll be getting very good marks okay, okay? thank you sir thank you thank you sir